Well, here we are. It's uh, 5 o'clock, and the crowd has finally passed all the meetings, and the, <laughs> the speech is pretty much, and the party starts on the deck. There's going to be uh, a fun event down here with the NASCAR uh, with Brad Kozlowski. We'll attend that, yeah. yeah. That'll be down there a little later, uh, later this evening. Yeah. So this is kind of the, the, the time of evening that people can kind of relax from the day's activity. It's really networking now, it seems exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. And speaking of activities today, I mean, what struck you from the, the speakers that came in, uh, probably Governor Bush uh, from yeah. Florida? Yeah, a very strong message uh, from Governor Bush related to immigration and education and how Michigan can use those two uh, themes, if you will, to transform not only the state but Detroit. Uh, and I think that that's a really good message that he gave today, not only with the immigration and how we could uh, use that to the advantage of Michigan, but education and how we need to address that lack of education, especially in the pre-K as well. I was really, uh, I didn't know so much of the pre-K education was so important later in life, but it is. I mean, it really is something we need to grab a hold of. I know Chuck spends a lot of time kind of, you know, uh, working the crowd, the people <laughs> in the crowd. What are you hearing? Well, you know, what we're hearing is for as much business as they had on this agenda, and that's the way the chamber wanted it, mm -hmm. that politics is always in the background. And you had Governor Snyder walking around here talking about his agenda, talking about relentless positive, positive action. action. Yeah. And you have Mark Schauer, the Democrat, who said he's going to take him on, and he is going after him tooth and nail. He says that he's made an assault on the middle class. He's criticized him on taking teachers out of the classroom. He says that he's not done enough funding for education. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's going to be the campaign. And in the backdrop of that, a Detroit mayoral race as exactly. well. Exactly. Now, speaking of the politics and this governor's race, I had a chance to talk to Mark Schauer. He made that announcement, the one-term U.S. congressman, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today, we were the first TV station that he talked to about this campaign, so I asked him a little bit about that. And I also talked to Governor Snyder, who made it very, very clear he is not particularly concerned, at least not right now, about Mark Schauer. Listen. Uh, I understand he's a Democratic candidate for governor. <laughs> is that about it? That's about it. And when I see Governor Snyder cutting public education, uh, raising taxes on retirees, on, on parents raising kids, raising property taxes in order to give a tax cut, a $1.8 billion tax cut to corporations, uh, those are the wrong priorities for our state. Mark Schauer is up here today and he says you just don't get it. Well, they, a lot of people have a lot of opinions. We're the comeback state in the country, and I'm proud of it. We're going to keep going in a positive way. I'll talk to uh, Mr. Schauer and Mr. Snyder again tonight, more in depth on this subject. At 11 o'clock, we'll get a peek into how this race yeah. is going to shape up. And yeah. Stephen, in about 20 minutes uh, from now, I'm going to have an interview with uh, Bob Johnson. He is the founder of BET. He had a lot of good things to say. He's actually wanting to implement a, kind of an NFL type of rule for corporations, the, the Rooney Rule. He's wanting to do that for corporations as well to hire minorities. Okay, and we'll also be back at 6. We will. Detroit mayoral poll coming up. We'll show you who's in the lead and uh, who still want to be. Also, all of our coverage at WXYZ.com. In the meantime, for all three gentlemen here on Magna <laughs> Island, back to you. All right. We thank all of you tonight. Thanks, guys.